Hello everyone, right here I have a 2024 BYD Seal Extended Range Premium. And today I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So here is the key fob. Let's go ahead and start it up first. The seal in Malaysia does come standard with a remote start system. So to use the system, first make sure the car is locked, then press and hold this button. As you can see, the side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon locking the car, they automatically fold in. And upon unlocking, they automatically fold out again. If you press and hold on the unlock button, you are able to roll down all four windows in the car simultaneously. And to roll all of them back up together, just press and hold on the lock button. Also standard with the seal in Malaysia is BYD's version of a smart keyless entry and start system. So, just have the key form on yourself, the car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, press the button on any of the front door handles. And to unlock the car, just press any of the buttons on the front door handles again. Along with the smart keyless entry, it's a keyless push button start system. So to start the seal, make sure the key fob is inside the car. Put your foot on the brake. And press the start button located right down here. The seal gets an electric rack and pinion power steering system. A genuine leather steering wheel with a flat bottom design, contrast stitching around the inner rim, and sport grips at 10 and 2 is present in the premium and the performance trims. A 1-speed automatic transmission is standard in the seal. Also standard are front and rear parking sensors and a 360 degree 3D camera system. When the camera system is active, the rear camera, the rear 360 degree camera view, the front camera, and the front 360 degree camera view all feature active guidance signs. Below the left camera display, one can select the front camera view, the rear camera view, the left camera view, the right camera view, the front wide angle camera view, the rear wide angle camera view, and the left and right camera views together. Below the right camera display, the seal icon in the 360 degree camera can be turned transparent, the parking sensor can be turned off or on, and the 3D camera view can be activated. The 3D camera view can then be moved around, the wheels in this view turn with the steering wheel, and the lights also work depending on which one is turned on. Below the 3D camera display, more camera angles can be selected. To the right of the camera display, one can select the camera display or the camera settings menu. Safety features in the seal include 9 airbags, an anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, electronic stability control, a traction control system, hill hook control, a tire pressure monitoring system, an alarm system, and an immobilizer. Isofix child seat anchor points are found on the outer two rear seats. The seal comes with a host of driver assistance features that include automatic emergency braking, predictive collision warning, 
front cross traffic alert, front cross traffic brake, rear cross traffic alert, rear cross traffic brake, blind spot detection, lane departure warning, lane departure prevention, emergency lane keeping assist, intelligent cruise control, traffic sign recognition, and driver attention warning. The seal in premium and performance trims both come with 19-inch 5-spoke 2-tone alloy rims. The seal uses 235-45R19 Continental Eco Contact 6Q tires. Ventilated and drilled disc brakes are found in front while the rear has ventilated disc brakes. The suspension is made up of double wishbones in front and a rear multi-link setup. BYD Auto is a Chinese car manufacturer headquartered in Shenzhen, Guangdong, China. It is an automotive subsidiary of BYD company. The name BYD itself is derived from the company's pinyin initials BRD, and later on the backronym Build Your Dreams was created. While it started off by producing internal combustion engine vehicles, BYD currently concentrates on producing plug-in hybrid electric vehicles and battery electric vehicles. The SEAL, which is a D-segment 4-door saloon, is an example of a battery electric vehicle from BYD. The SEAL was reviewed by the BYD Ocean X concept car in September 2021. The production version of the SEAL was announced in May 2022, and deliveries began in August 2022. It's one of the first few models to utilize the ePlatform 3.0 platform that BYD specifically developed for battery electric vehicles. The SEAL is also part of BYD's Ocean Sea line of products, with ocean-inspired design elements found throughout the vehicle. A refreshed SEAL with several styling updates was introduced in China in August 2024. The SEAL nameplate is also used by other BYD products such as the SEAL 06 GT electric hatchback, the SEAL U electric crossover SUV, the SEAL 06 DMI plug-in hybrid saloon, and the SEAL 07 DMI plug-in hybrid saloon. In Malaysia, the SEAL was launched in February 2024. Three fully imported from China variants are available currently, and they are Standard Range Dynamic Automatic, Extended Range Premium Automatic, and All-Wheel Drive Performance Automatic. Under the bonnet of the seal, the black cap is to access the brake fluid tank while the blue cap is to access the wiper washer fluid tank. Meanwhile, there's also the 53 liter front boot in the middle. The seal extended range comes with an electric motor powered by an 82.56 kWh lithium iron phosphate BYD blade battery. It produces 309 horsepower and 360 Nm of torque. 0 to 100 km per hour takes 5.9 seconds, and the top speed is 180 km per hour. The range is rated at 570 km, and the combined electric consumption for the SEAL extended range automatic is 16.6 kWh per 100 km. Carbon dioxide emissions is 0 grams per km, and the SEAL is a rear-wheel drive vehicle. Exterior features of the SEAL include automatic manual leveling LED projector headlights, automatic wipers, automatic high beams, LED daytime running lights, LED front and side indicators, LED sequential rear indicators, LED rear lights, an LED rear fog light, LED rear number plate lights, and body colored door handles and side mirrors. Speakers right there, and down there. The button operates the powered boot lid, storage, Mirror controls, central locking, window controls, all of the windows in this car are powered and all of them do have a full automatic function in both directions. Window lock. Storage. BYD door sills. And the driver's seat in this SEAL Premium does get full powered adjustments. All of the controls are located right down there including your 4-way power lumbar support. Dual Zone Automatic Climate Control System The climate control controls are located within the infotainment display 
go back to the main menu and hit this part right here to bring up your climate control controls. Right above, you can select your ionizer mode, recirculation, rear defrost or heated side mirrors, front defrost, fan only mode, maximum air conditioning, air conditioning, automatic mode, on off, driver side temperature, passenger side temperature, you can activate your swing modes down here, focus, avoid, swing, free, off, and depending on the mode, the display will show accordingly. Same goes for the left side, and you have smart mode in the middle. Below you have your fan speed, different modes. Dual means if you have it turned on, the driver side and the front passenger side will have individual temperature controls, but if you turn it off, the driver side will control the temperature for both sides. To the right, apart from your air conditioning display, you also have your ventilation and heating um, display where you can activate your two-stage heated and cooled seats for the driver and front passenger. You can also turn on or off your rear defrost and heated side mirrors right above. You can also bring up your air purification display. And bring up your AC settings. And that's about it. Below, storage. These do also double up as your Qi wireless charging pads. You have more storage below the center console. Right down here as well, you have a USB-A port to, to connect to the system, as well as a USB-C port for charging. There's also a power outlet to the right of the USB-A port. Right here, you have your Automatic mode for the climate control system, on off button again for the climate control system, front defrost button, your volume and power wheel, your different media, sorry, your different driving mode selection wheel. This one is for your traction control system, this one brings up your blind spot monitor system, and this one activates the automatic hold function for the electronic parking brake. If the system is activated and the car arrives at a stop such, such as a traffic light or traffic jam, when the car is in drive and you lift your foot off the brake, the car won't actually move forward or roll back if you have this activated. The seal comes with an integrated touchscreen head unit. The system features a 15.6 inch rotating infotainment display, various media connectivity options and navigation. Sound is routed to the 12 speaker Dynaudio sound system. The Dynaudio sound system that the SEAL uses is actually quite good. We are currently in the CarPlay menu with the current media playing information. The album art will show up here if available. If the song title, the artist name and album name will show up here again if available. You can play pause, go back to song, go for the song, song duration, and below you can activate your shuffle, repeat, and bring up your love and suggest as like this options. Play next goes to your play next playlist. Hit library to go back to your main media menu where you can select library, playlists and radio right above and under library you can look at your recently added songs, playlists, artists and whatnot. To go back to your current media playing information press this button right here. To write shortcut buttons for Google Maps, music and phone and below. This button goes back to your main CarPlay menu where you can then access your phone, music, Apple Maps, messages, so on and so forth. There are more apps to the right. And to the left, we can view the maps, you can go to a destination, bring up your voice command and control the media. To go back to the main BYD system, there are actually a couple of ways to do it. 
you can bring up your list of controls below and hit the home button or hit the BYD icon right here. We are currently in the main BYD system with the time, your voice command, you can control the radio, Spotify, navigation. Right here we have the maps. We can view the name of the road down here together with the compass. And to the right you can search for destination, search for charging stations. Right here, press that button to calculate how far you can go with the car's remaining range. And we can also bring up your navigation settings right here. Right up here, you can go back to your CarPlay menu and below you have your button to turn off the display split screen display you can rotate the display if you wish to do so you can also bring up your recently used apps go home and the return button is down here as well hit that car icon down here to bring up your vehicle menu right here we have your AC settings but we can also set your seat settings lock settings notification settings greeting settings Side mirror settings, heads up display settings, light settings, intelligent chassis settings, and to the right, you can also bring up your service menu where you can view your maintenance information overhaul menu, vehicle info, you can also go back to your vehicle settings, right here we have the energy settings with your energy manager where you can set your regenerative braking, range mode, you can also set your charging settings, consumption settings, consumption curve, Next up, we have your ADAS settings with your intelligent cruise control, your various driving assist, active safety, and parking assist. Right above is the system settings with your connection settings, audio settings with your Dynaudio focus, Dynaudio sound, speed volume, and what not. Display settings with your brightness, screen saver, automatic day night mode, version settings, app settings, and under more you can set the time, languages, and what not. Back to the main menu, apart from this display, we can also swipe right to go to more apps with your assistant, media center, vehicle images, you can view albums and all that. Right here we have your settings menu, smart charging display, user manual, you can change the themes and select Android Auto. Now, if we swipe from the top down, to the left, we can adjust the volume for media and broadcast.
You can change the display brightness for the dis center display and the instrument cluster. You can also bring up your vehicle controls for your heads up display, interior lights, on and off, ventilation heating controls, your Qi wireless charging pack controls, and right here you have shortcut buttons for your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, brightness, auto-rotate, mute, and connected devices. Heads up displays right there if you can see it. And as shown earlier, this car does have power folding side mirrors. To fold the side mirrors in from the inside, press this button right here. Central locking. Light and indicator controls. If you press the button at the end of the light and indicator stalk, you can go between the mileage, trip A and trip B. Seat track, volume wheel, click the wheel down to mute the system. Bluetooth telephone control, voice control, different media mode selection. And press this button to bring up your multi-information display located within the instrument cluster. You can, use, you can then use the left and right arrows to go between the different main menus and use the wheel to go between the different sub-menus. You can click the wheel down to select and hit the return button to go back. Currently driving data with your elapsed time and average speed, battery monitor, past 50 kilometers average electric consumption, cumulative ele average electric consumption, tire pressure monitoring system, and back to your elapsed time and average speed. You can also view your um, speed cruise control information. You can change the layout of the instrument cluster. You can adjust the climate control temperature and climate control fan speed. We have vehicle notifications right here, timer, and back to the driving data. This one brings up the camera system on the infotainment display. Well, this one rotates the display. However, since the display is in CarPlay mode right now, the rotation is not supported. You have your lane departure warning controls right here, and the rest of the controls are for the adaptive cruise control system. Wiper controls, and the steering wheel in this car is still telescopic. You adjust it using this lever down here. Front center armrest with the NFC reader for the key card right above. And down below is small storage. Auto dimming rear view mirror. Front LED reading lights. And the driver's side sun visor does get a vanity mirror and a couple of LED lights. Alright, so I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. Speakers right there and down there, auto holder and storage down there as well, window control, and the rear seat bags in this seal do fold, they split 60-40 when folding, and to fold them down first make sure the headrests are all the way down, then locate the levers on the sides of the outer two rear headrests, the lever on that side folds down the left seat and the middle seat, while the lever on this side folds down the right seat, just pull it and flip the seat back down.
I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7, which is about 1.7 meters tall. While there is no room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat, I do get slightly more than this in terms of leg room. And about this much in terms of headroom. It's actually quite nice and spacious back here. The seats are soft and comfortable as well. On the front seat backs are storage pockets. Rear aircon vents in the middle with a bit of storage below. And right at the bottom, you can find a USB-A port and a USB-C port, both for charging. Rear center armrest with cup holders. And right above, for both sides at the back, are grip handles and your rear LED reading slash interior lights. You can find hooks on the B pillars. There are three ways to open the powered boot lid in this 2024 seal and four ways to close it. Boot space in the seal is 400 litres with the rear seat bags in place. For more boot space, the rear seat bags fold down as shown earlier. To the left of the boot is a storage net, to the right of the boot is a subwoofer for the sound system, and on the top of the boot are a couple of LED lights. Under the boot floor is some storage, and under this storage area is a vehicle's tyre repair kit and warning triangle. The front headrests are built into the seat, so adjustable headrests for the rear only. Speakers, window control, bottle holder, storage, and the front passenger seat in this car does get full power adjustments as well, with the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side, just that this side loses out on the four way power lumbar support. Nicely sized glove box. Grip handle for the front passenger. 
And the front passenger's sun visor does get a vanity mirror with a couple of LED lights as well. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle tour video of this 2024 BYD Seal Extended Range Premium. Thanks for watching and goodbye.